Hey, Bill Risser, we're here with the wrap-up for Thursday. Let's see, July 25th here in uh, the Inman Connect Las Vegas Conference. Um, had a, a wonderful general session this morning, and then some breakouts we're going to talk about in the afternoon. So let's start right away with, with Manoush Zomorodi, who is an author, um, a creator of a company called Stable Genius Media, which now has some podcasts underneath it. She's written a book, and she really was kind of a break from the real estate just to have people figure out a way that they can maybe break free from technology just a little bit. Just a real quick quote from Manoush. I really think you should look her up, find her podcast, find her book. But she said, you know, we got to remember that tech is a tool that was supposed to help make our lives better. But really, it's turned into sort of a taskmaster. And so how do we unplug? How do we disconnect? She was very funny. Uh, if you have any opportunity to listen to her podcast, I would do it. Um, and I'll have links to her stuff down below. On the real estate side of things, we had some very interesting panels. Um, Robert Refkin, the CEO and founder of Compass, was on stage with Josh Team, who's a kind of a director of product with Keller Williams. And boy, was that a lot of fun. Uh, there was no love lost between the two. There was a little bit of digging going back and forth. In fact, um, at one point, Robert Refkin made a reference about companies that um, don't have to be first, but they just have to be better. And he mentioned Apple. It wasn't the first computer company, but they turned out to be the best. And when challenged with the question from the moderator, so do you think you're the Apple of real estate? Robert Refkin, for the first time I can ever remember, had a lot, was kind of at a loss for words. And he did uh, eventually say, are you looking for a headline? Because he knew whatever he answered there was going to be an Inman News headline. But, but you had both teams, both companies really going back and forth. If you have access to the live stream, absolutely watch that panel. And in that same vein, Ryan Gorman, the CEO of NRT, which is one of the big divisions of Realogy, uh, got on stage. And boy, there was no love lost there because Realogy has filed a lawsuit against Compass challenging the way that they recruit agents. He held no punches back. For somebody who's involved in a lawsuit like that, usually the CEOs clam up, but not Ryan. Um, one of my favorite lines, and I called it the line of the conference in a tweet, was, you know, when, talked, when, when Clelia, the moderator, said, well, you're kind of walking a fine line, you know, between recruiting and stealing. He said, I guess it's kind of a fine line like shopping and shoplifting and got a real reaction from the crowd. Once again, sign up for him and select just so you can watch that, uh, that interview. It was really cool. One more CEO, Glenn Sanford, took the stage. Here's my line from Glenn. Uh, I, I love Glenn. He's just such a nice guy. He's a genuinely nice guy. And when asked about the world, the EXP world, he had this simple comment. He said, culture, collaboration, and community are tough without actually seeing each other. That's why we created a space for people to go connect. And that's that virtual EXP world. They bought the company Verbella, and it really is unique. But they, they had the largest gathering ever in a, um, well, I don't know what you call it, virtual world with 740 agents in Texas gathering into a, a giant auditorium with their avatars for some going over some Texas rules and regulations. So Glenn brought the goods like he always does. So the afternoon marketing track, what I'm going to do is just run through three or four really cool tips that I picked up from different presenters. The first one is from Jason Cassidy, uh, a realtor who talked about a lot about Instagram. And he said what he's done and had great success is do a, you know, to grow a following and get more people on Instagram that are in your community, do a giveaway. And what he did was he bought 10 books right, from somebody who had written something about the area, went to the author who had a large following and said, I want to do a giveaway about and give away 10 of your books to, these, to, to people in the area, I'll hashtag it up. And that influencer who had like 120,000 Instagram followers also put out the contest. He picked up 1,000 followers who were interested in his area within 24 hours. So that was a really cool tip. Kyle Whistle, who's with eXp Realty in San Diego, shout out San Diego, my hometown, he talked about a very old strategy. It's been on for a long time, but really doubling down on it. And that's taking a business page and not doing real estate stuff but taking a business page, and he has two that he's used that have grown just exponentially. One's called Everything East County, that's a part of San Diego, and East County Eats, which focuses on the food side of San Diego, East County of San Diego. And he's got huge um, uh, relationship building going on there, a lot of the community coming together, and obviously he's very intentional in how he interacts with these people and is able to then identify them, move them into other places where they know he's a realtor and generate business from that strategy. So building these online communities is still you know, as valuable as ever. And I'll wrap this up. I, I went a little long yesterday, a little excited. Uh, but this is Karen Carr. Uh, it's K-A-R-I-N. Karen Carr. Look her up. Her hashtag on Twitter is six foot realtor. Yeah, she's tall. And she 
I'm gonna go through quickly the seven steps for a successful YouTube video. She is killing it with YouTube organic, no money, no ads, just knowing how to handle that system. Number one, research the topic. For example, let's say you wanted to create a, a guide for moving to Tampa. So that you would do a search for you know, moving to Tampa tips and tricks and see what Google pops up, what kind of phrases pop up. Use one of those to create you know, your video. That's step one. Step two, you got seven seconds to hook them in. Tell them exactly what you're gonna do quickly. For example, hi, welcome to my video about what's going on in Tampa. I'm gonna give you some ideas on what you should expect if you move to Tampa. Done, seven seconds. I know now as a listener exactly what you're gonna be talking about. Three, visual branding. Get a quick little opening. Go to Fiverr, no more than five seconds. No 30 seconds of somebody walking through the beach area. Those just drive people away. Quick hitter, show on your logo, easy to do. Four. Brief intro. Don't talk about your designations. Don't talk about your ranking. Just tell them quickly who you are. Make it fast. Make it simple. That entire opening, right? With the hook, with the video, with your intro, under 30 seconds, maybe closer to 20. Number five. Now it's about the topic. Talk about the topic and, 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 and share that information that you promise you're going to share. Six. Wrap it up and have a call to action. The call to action is going to be basically, hey, I've got this, this guide to give you and people will willingly give up. For valuable information, they'll willingly give up their contact information. Gotta make that happen. Number seven, and keep them watching as long as possible, right? Maybe it's a, you tell them there's gonna be a reward at the end, which could be the giveaway, or, right, maybe you do a series of bloopers, which people will stick around. Once they realize you're doing them, they'll always stick around to watch them. So I loved Karen Carr. I would look her up, follow her, Probably, you know how much I love video. I'm doing one right now and I'm using some of her tips. I, this is really good stuff. And finally, I have to say this. Thank you to everybody for all of the comments, the text messages, the Facebook messages, the Instagram messages about uh, me winning the Innovator of the Year Award for podcasting today at the Inman Connect event. It was like surreal, completely unexpected. I'm uh, super proud and humbled, and uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been reaching out. That's what I got for today. We'll cover Capital Connect tomorrow. So until then, bye.